what I love about the USA after six years living abroad. Really interested to see what we got with this video and see what kind of things he missed about America whilst living abroad. Before we do get into this, appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button. Let's see what we got. Hello, everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I love about America yeah. after living abroad for six years. And you might be saying, what's this guy smoking? <laughs> America's in ruins, crazy politics, COVID. Yo, first of all, this is beautiful, mate. I don't know what part of, uh, in Europe. Or actually, no, he said abroad, not even in Europe. I don't even know where he was living. Economic decline, Maybe it was all like, these things at play. But this is beautiful. Well, I'm here to tell you, I got some great things I want to talk about. Okay. If you want the negative, that's next video, actually. So this is obviously Oof. my perspective, and it comes from uh, traveling to over 85 countries in the world and thinking through this stuff. Uh, Yo. Trying to observe as many things as possible. Talking. Hey, bro has been everywhere. If this is the month for the job, then this guy is it, bro. <laughs> as many people as possible. And at the end of the day, my observations and all of this stuff is in the gray zone. Uh -huh. It's not black and white. And whenever you're talking about generalities, look, you can't, you can't label a nation completely. So there's going to be overlap. Right. There's going to be things that are just big claims that don't apply to everyone or or every place. But let me give it a go here. Let me give it an honest try. I'm Number very one, interested. opportunity. And you okay. might be saying that's right. sort of a BS claim during these times. Businesses here in San Francisco, restaurants shut down, all sorts of businesses shut down. Definitely a lack of opportunity for okay. many people. But I'm gonna say on the macro, uh, if you're going to look wide and from above, compared to most of the world, the US still has the most amount of opportunity you that know what i do see this from like seeing videos about america and then obviously being in the uk like people's ambitions and what they want to achieve as well seems a lot bigger in america and more of like a can-do attitude as well so i see where he's coming from with this be in the digital space it can also be in uh you know, like I had Tony's carpet cleaning come to our apartment when we moved back to San Francisco okay. a few months ago. Tony came in, did the carpets in a couple hours. It was 400 Let's bucks. Tony, Tony, how many carpets do you, how many places do you do a day? Three. Tony, how many vans do you have? Three. Tony is from Mexico. His English is at a very basic level. He's a very hardworking guy, very honest guy, and he's crushing it. He figured it out. And Tony, I'm sure. Yo, listen, I know this is nothing to do with the video, but I can't stop thinking it. Bro, how he's talking to the camera and walking on this mountain edge, I would be terrified that I would slip over. I would be that idiot that would just be <laughs> yuck. I'd be in the water, mate. Sure, after all his expenses and taxes and whatnot is bringing home over $1,000 in profit a day. Love wow. those stories. And there wow. are many of them, despite the fact wow. that we're hearing there is nothing for opportunity in America. Okay. Now, with that said, sort of depends where you're at. And where I grew up in the countryside of Vermont or say Appalachia, or say even if, you know, if you're in a bad part of inner city America, opportunities look to be pretty slim. You might have to move for that opportunity. Right. The good thing about America is there are probably hundreds of places you can move to for that opportunity. Yo, We're you know what I like about America in the sense of like moving to as well for your opportunity? You could also move to different climate zones in your own country. That is, I don't think you know how lucky you are for that. We're stuck in the UK, right? We can't just go to somewhere that's warmer. Everywhere is just like raining most of the time. You know what I mean? So like, yo, I would love to be able to choose like what climate, what kind of area. Do I want it snowing? Do I not want it snowing? Do I want it hot? Do I not want it hot? Do I, you know what I mean? Whereas in most countries in the world, it's the capital city or maybe right. the second city at best. And okay. outside of that, there's not much going on. Not all countries, but most. Number two. The UK kind of has a little bit going on, probably more so than what he's talking about with other countries. It's not just the capital city. It's, uh, there's quite a few cities in the UK where there's got a lot of opportunity, but on the scale to the America, not close. Two, America is one of the least racist countries Ooh. I've been to of the 85 countries and the four I've lived in. Look, there's racism, unfortunately, in every corner of this planet. Right. No place is immune to it. Uh, when I grew up in the States, it was much more racist uh, than it is now. And when my parents grew up, wow, that's a completely different universe almost. 
overall, despite, uh, despite, despite what's going on this last year, despite all of the noise and being told that we're one of the most racist places, I honestly don't believe it. Yeah, you hear that a lot with like media and stuff like that. And I, I think obviously America is seen in the media a lot, right? And it's blown up and everybody around the world will be paying attention, you know what I mean? But yo, it gets hella, like some countries in Europe, bro, are extremely racist. Like extremely, to the point where like certain people are avoiding countries for even like holidays and that because it's just like a no-go, bro. I don't buy it. Um, talk to people that have come here from other countries. Right. You know, every Arab taxi or Uber driver I've talked to, everyone, and this is my experience, you'll have your own experiences, has said they would rather be in the States than Europe. Most right. of them went okay. through that journey. They came from their country, from the Middle East, went to Europe, and then ended up here. A lot of them have. And a lot of them say they feel much less racism in the United well, yeah, America is very, very diverse. And the more I've been learning about it, the more diverse I'm actually understanding how it is. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, actually a, a cool point right there. It, it just goes to show that, you know, you don't believe the media, bro. Like, not everything on the media, right? United States. You know, try being in, in Afghan, in Iran, in Ethiopian, in Poland. Okay. Uh, it's a much different dynamic. Right. Racism exists here, unfortunately. The goal is to get to none, to remove it. I mean, that would be the dream, right? That's what you know what? Yo, I've said this on stream a lot and we spoke about this. But yo, you know, in like a hundred years, two hundred years, three hundred, I don't know how many years, bro. But you know it's gonna get to a point where everybody's mixed race. Apart from the people that you know, like the the, the tribes that have no contact with other people, right? But because everyone's mixing with everyone now, you know what I mean? And everyone's, you know, doing certain things with people and they're just getting a little bit more mixed, a little bit. It's good. It's eventually going to get a point. Like, I'm sure I'm like mathematics. I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to like a scientist right now. But you know what I'm saying, isn't it? Like, eventually, someone is going to mix with someone else at different races and that family's now mixed and then vice versa and eventually it's just everyone's just going to be mixed or summer all like any non-racist person uh, but i do the best thing about america is all the different people here from all different backgrounds it's like you got to think about it the only reason why there was such strong like separate races is because we couldn't travel as easy and mix right but now Everyone's going everywhere. Just this stew of culture. And I've loved returning into that just to get away from these so, oh, so somewhat homogeneous. Bro, this is, yo, this is what I'm saying, man. Yo, this guy's gotta be careful. Places <laughs> to a place where everyone's yeah. here in volume. And look, during my daily interactions, you know, I was at the grocery store yesterday, I was talking to a, an Asia, Asian woman, I was talking to a black woman. Uh, my wife was there from from Ukraine. We're all from different backgrounds. Okay. We're all laughing and cool. joking, and it was beautiful. And that's that's to me one of the best attributes of the U.S. Yo, I can't speak. What what blows my mind is we're not going to go too heavy into this, but yo, everyone's a person, bro. You know what I mean? It don't matter even if you got you know five arms coming out your head. You're still a person, right? You know what I'm saying? For someone's experience, hey, people. You know, someone Why had people that? Uh, a racist experience, then that's their experience. But overall, in the, in the macro, I would say here is one of the, the least racist and more inclusive places in the world. Right. And those that say different, those that say you, the U.S. is one of the most racist places, have not traveled much or they've traveled a little. Right. And not opened their eyes or listened to what's really going on in a place or spent a fair amount of time. So I'm going to call that one out. The U.S. is one of the least racist places on the planet. We need Yo, to get that, it to that is cool to see because I obviously, you know, me being a content creator, I do see the Twitter clips and vice versa, like just the media clips that go viral of like racist moments happening in America. But it is nice to, nice to hear and see somebody that's traveled a lot is just saying like, Yo, it's just the media being blown out of proportion, right? To a better place. But we're going in the like, right. Yeah, it w like those things will happen. But bro, like the UK this year, there was very, very, very racist like protests happening, bro. That don't mean that you know what I mean that that's just like it. And it was blown up in the media like crazy. It was happening, but to the scale of what people thought, 
yeah, I would say I say the UK is quite diverse as well. Right direction. Number obviously, three. obviously you do get racist people everywhere, but yeah, I feel like the UK is kind of like America in the sense of we, we are diverse. I actually think that yeah, I agree with. That. I actually think America is a lot more diverse than the UK. It is it's an open and polite culture. Again, okay, you might cool. be saying, "What are you smoking, man?" Uh, during these <laughs> these pandemic times, it's it's anything but. And I agree, right. especially here. This place is very much on lockdown both both physically and like mentally okay i find people to be very standoffish unfortunately like we all have to go through this pandemic doesn't mean we have to be so cold to one another and right, I, when sure. i was in new york it was i'd say a hundred times better anyways better days ahead but for the most part america you know you you're going through a into a store you keep the door open for the person behind you you say thank you you say please it's you know what? It is actually cool hearing how polite and nice Americans are. And I've experienced it with you guys. You guys, honestly, like, especially the ones that come to my Twitch stream, because I get to talk to, uh, have a conversation with you guys live. If you don't do that, twitch.tv forward slash Alfred with G, make sure you check it out. But we have conversations live all the time. And I swear, like, yeah, we have jokes and we wind each other up, right? Which is good. It's fun. But you guys are so nice and polite, man. The people in the UK aren't like that. People in the UK aren't even gonna hold the door for you. Some people will, but most people won't. It's not like that everywhere. It's I, I find it maybe it's superficial. Maybe you can call it superficial. Right. But actually that politeness I enjoy. I started to miss a little bit living abroad. Okay. Uh so yeah. We're hey, he's gotta be careful now. This is a big drop, bro. <laughs> be careful, my guy. Be polite people. Let's 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 hope we get back to it after this pandemic. Oh, we're getting steep here. Look at that. Oh my beautiful. It is beautiful. Number be four, English, the English language. Okay. I'm not saying it's the best language, but I'm saying is it is the world's language. And if you grew up here and you were just pretty much given it, because you know, as a kid, if you grow up in a language, you don't really have to do anything. It's right, basically right. through osmosis. Then you're lucky, because English works uh, even in the last 15 years of being you know abroad a lot. That is uh, true. You know now versus then wow so many people speak english yo that is very true if you're saying that like the fact that like i'm native language well it's not even native language i learned that recently uh in america it's not even like the official language i don't know what it is i don't know what that really means i'm not gonna lie uh but like yo we're born learning english we can pretty much travel most of the world and communicate you know what i mean so that is a lucky thing to us you know in every airport things are in english it's easier to navigate right. the world uh, the internet language is uh, in the majority English. Right. Yeah. And that's a gift. So many people have, in the world have to learn it. You were yep, just downloaded with it if you grew up here. Downloaded. So I will say Italian sounds more beautiful. Russian, okay. I'd say, has more creativity and flexibility. But as far as usefulness in the world right now, and it won't always be this way, and it hasn't been this way before, but right now it's English. And this uh, is number five here environment. Ooh. I've learned to very much appreciate clean air, clean water, okay, clean food. Hey, clean water, can we get some of that? And no, I'm not talking Flint, Michigan. It's not everywhere, but a lot of the U.S. has these things in abundance, That's and cool. a lot of the world doesn't, and you never notice this stuff. You never know, notice the very basics of Maslow's Pyramid until you don't have What's clean that? air or clean water or fresh food. Oh, is that one of those things where like you don't notice it until it's actually gone? But yo, do me a favor, bro, cause like UK isn't as bad as like other countries. Like UK is, you know, it's not a third world country, right? Obviously, but like, do me a favor and open up a vlog of someone in the UK and compare this to a vlog in the UK. Bro, you could just tell in the color of like the environment. It's more gloomy and more like miserable looking and just, bro. I don't, I don't know, man. Like, bro, I wish I, I, I'm just jealous, dude. I wish I can like take my whole entire family and just plop us somewhere in America. And then you realize how important that stuff is. Number six, trust. What do I mean by that? Okay, so last year I sold the business. I did it through emails, through phone calls. I was in India. The person that okay. bought it was here in the states. Okay. Uh, we had a lawyer involved, but still. Like the systems were set up, so he sent me money. I handed over the business. We never even met each other face to face. It doesn't work like that everywhere. A lot of places yeah. you need to have, say, a deep relationship to trust at that level. Here, I still feel, though trust in, in, in institutions is, is slipping a bit, I still feel there is a high level 
of trust in society. All right, that's cool. Getting a little tight here. That's I think cool. I'm on an animal trail. I don't know. I don't know about myself. I don't know if I would uh, easily trust someone like that. I, I would have to get to know them quite a lot. But that's uh, yeah. In the UK, we don't really communicate that much with like strangers and stuff. So we we yeah, trust in a stranger. We don't even communicate with them. So <laughs> of some sort, but it's an adventure. And no one's out here, which is Yo, nice. Is it's beautiful. nice to not have to be masked up. Number seven, diversity. And so oh, yeah, the okay. beautiful thing here, I'm sort of going back to right. uh, an earlier point, but the beautiful thing here is all the animals from the zoo pretty much are in one cage and they get along for the most part. Okay. Of course, there are issues, but for the most part, it works. And it's a beautiful yo, thing. Yo, diversity is the best thing, right? Because who doesn't want different flavors of everything? You know what I'm saying? Who doesn't like the same flavors boring, right? Who doesn't want different flavors in women, different flavors in men, different flavors in food, different flavors in drink, different flavors in culture. You know what I'm saying? Bro, the more diverse a country is, the better it is, right? More things to enjoy, more things. Bro, diversity is amazing. The UK is diverse, but yo, from what I've learned from America, you guys are just, yeah, you guys are just a mix of everywhere. Eight, risk takers. And love so where this. did Elon I love Musk this one. go? You know, he, he could pick any country in the world. Where do so many of these entrepreneurs I love go this with one. their ideas? They come here because there is a mentality in the culture. It is accepted. Uh, I think better than anywhere else that I've seen. There might be some exceptions, exceptions, but no, it's he's so right. And I feel like a broken record because I've said this so many times, but this one hits me so much. Like I love this one risk takers because I've always been a risk taker and a lot of my friends have tried risk taking and their friends fell out with them because like they were saying to them, you're going to fail. What's the point? Like people just stick to the norm here. Whereas I've always tried and like, Anytime I talk to someone in the UK, I feel like I'm, a, I'm like a, um, a the odd one out. Because like, I'm always saying, just take a risk. Don't try and do this. Do whatever you want to do. If you fail, you fail, whatever, right? People don't do it. Like, obviously, people do that here. But the majority don't do that. They don't want to take the risk. They don't want to go out the norm. You know what I mean? They just want to... Bro. So, yeah, when I learn about Americans and how much you guys risk take and... You don't get embarrassed if you fail. It's just learning. Bro, I love that about the you big guys. country. Love it. The ability to take risks and fail. Love that. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, uh, it is. It I'm really going to compare to, say, Italy. No offense, Italy. I love Italy. but Or Germany. Love Germany, too. But, you know, the, it's not in the mindset to take a risk and fail. A, fail. a failure is truly defined as a failure. We're here. Right. Especially out here. Where yeah, like, in the UK, if you fail... In the eyes of other people, you're a failure. Like, that's a bad thing, bro. You're going to be embarrassed about that. Whereas, like, if I feel, if like, I don't know, I feel like, I, I don't know why I'm different. Maybe because I'm on the internet. I don't know. So, like, I don't really mix in too much with British people. I may just speak to Americans, but I don't know, bro. But it's always been with me. It's always been with me. I just, I, yeah, I just love taking risks, bro. And it don't matter if you fail. You tried. Do you know what I mean? I'm at a failure is just part of the process. Yeah. And I love learning that because I've failed many a times. I wouldn't be doing this if I if I didn't fail many times, and I enjoy doing this more than pretty much anything else. Fine, gonna... bro. I wouldn't be sat here right now talking to you guys. We're talking to the camera, but you guys are there, and I talk to you guys on my stream, right? I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't take risk. You know what I mean? Like I went to university. I took a risk. I didn't go with a job that you know the university could lead me on to. Right? I wanted to do. Well, to be fair, it wasn't even content at first. I kind of like dabbled. I kind of failed content lows. But before like this channel, I've had multiple, multiple channels on different things and just failed and failed and failed and failed and failed. But you never give up and you just keep trying and learn. Take some risks here. Is that, I love that. Is that worth the risk, guys? I mean, it's a calculated risk. There's a solid <laughs> no. step there. It's not, hey, don't it's not jump, too bro. bad. I could do it, but I think I think we'll find somewhere a little, little flatter for the uh, next point. No, no, no. You're talking about risk. Here we no, go. No, take a it. A little bit flatter. Better to walk and talk. And what do we have? Number nine. Pave this is a good video. I like this. With the least amount of resistance. So one simple example would be if you're in university and you want to switch your major. Okay. You okay. can quite often do that. Many places. Oh, really? That's not the case. 
But I do feel like it, I guess it depends on the upbringing and how restrictive your parenting okay. is or what's expected, but. Wait, can you change your major like at any point? Is that fine? Cause like you could change it in the UK, but it will have to be in the early stages. But you really can it. bounce around and, and change change up throughout life and do different things. For example, I dropped out of college. I just wasn't fit for it. I couldn't sit in a chair for more than three minutes. I moved to Lake Tahoe, snowboarded at night. Sorry, snowboarded during the day, waited uh -huh. tables at night, made enough money doing that to live, competed a little bit in snowboarding, uh, was a cameraman for a bit of time, started my own wedding videography business. Nah, he's been doing uh, everything. Absolute nightmare. That's another story, but I learned something from it. Then I started go. detailing cars because I wanted to stay in Tahoe. I didn't want to, didn't want to leave. Built that business up, had employees, ran that from overseas, did different startups. I started a company that connected people through common interests. That was an absolute fail. I've had a couple other fails and now I'm doing this, making YouTube videos. Never would have thought that's what I'd be doing in my 40s. <laughs> but I enjoy it and I love it and all those Hell things yeah. added up to this. I do feel like the US is... Bro, this is what I'm talking about. His kind of life is like what I love. You know what I mean? Instead of just like in the UK, bro, normally you will leave college and you kind of know what career path you're going to do and you're going to stick to that. I love just bouncing around, bro. I love the feeling of not knowing what's going to happen in five, ten years. You know what I mean? I know what I'm going to be doing. But I love that. I don't know why. It's weird. <laughs> I don't think I'm a Brit, bro. <laughs> Less judgmental. As because a this is facts, bro. A lot of Brit British people, if they like knew the fails that I've done and the life and the path I'm on, they would say like, I'm, they, they'll probably call me like a deadbeat or like I'm a failure or I got no future or something like that. You know what I mean? So like, bro, I don't know, but bouncing around and just taking risks and just seeing where life takes you is, bro, I love that. Sure. That's for those me. that want to change things up people are going to judge obviously no matter what and obviously True. you know a certain degree or position is is going to be the benchmark how someone rates you you know many circles are like that but i do feel as a whole you're allowed to mix it up more than right. most places number 10 corruption corruption at a lower level isn't too bad here compared to most places for okay. example you can't just you know pay off a cop if you get a ticket, you can't just uh, pay for a university degree. Again, back to what I said in the beginning of this video, I'm not talking, I'm not comparing Switzerland and, and Norway here. I'm comparing- Right, he's definitely comparing a lot of different countries. In the UK, I feel like there's hardly any corruption. Like I've never heard of any corrupted cops in the UK. There could be, I have no clue. But I've never heard of it. Comparing the, what is it? 192 countries of the world. Uh, the US is one of the better places as far as Petty corruption. Now, large right. scale corruption, that's a different story. We all, you don't have to be uh, too awake to realize that large scale corruption is, is rife in this country along oh with God. other countries. Okay, abundance, that might be good for some, not for others, but look, if you wanna buy a car, you know, I, the, the last car I got, I just needed good credit. They didn't even ask where my employment was. They didn't oh, really? ask for a bank statement. I had good credit. Went in, was out a couple hours later. You know what? In the UK, like you could get, you know, finance and stuff kind of easily, but they do do a lot of checks. They do. And if you do have good credit, then you're most likely going to get it. But like they could look, you know, your job, your, your uh, a bank statement or whatnot. With a new car. That's not surprising. It's really easy for that sort of stuff. Uh, despite this very odd time we're in, uh, and, and how everyone's pitted against each other politically in this, this pandemic, things work pretty well. Okay. Again, not talking about some parts of the country where they haven't been working well for a long time, but if I'm gonna talk about where I am now, I mean, the roads are paved pretty well. Uh, the, the Amazon functions, the garbage gets removed. Oh, do you know, is it about Amazon like delivery? Bro, do you know what's amazing about the UK? Because the UK is so small. Our Amazon is absolutely perfect, bro. Probably the best thing about the UK. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, you could get you could get same day delivery. Next day delivery is normally in most cases. You can return things so easily, bro. Just round the corner a minute away. Bro, it is super, super, super easy with Amazon. 
the waterworks. Well, we are lots more than the UK, so. Quite well, despite all the craziness or the perceived craziness that we're living in. Right. Final comments here. Despite everything that's going on in this country, I'm actually more pro-American than I've ever been before. Oh, you wow, know, when that's I used to from see an American, American flag outside of someone's house, okay. I thought that's a little much, a little bit redneck. And now I would have, now, I, that's I cool. live in an apartment, but if I was living in a home, I would have an American flag. Yo, that was really interesting to hear. As an American, it wasn't like that really before. He left America, seen the world, seen 80 different countries, 80. I guarantee that's nearly more. I, I guarantee there's not many people, if not anyone watching this right now, has seen more than 80 different countries, bro. So this guy has been everywhere and now he's came back and he appreciates America so much more. That's really, really cool to see. Outside of my home. And despite all of its pitfalls, which there are plenty of, and again, next video, I'll go into the darkness. There's also so like a, a lot of beauty right. in all forms in this country. Also Yo, this is a good video for any American watching this. And if you guys are, you know, slightly, you know, not liking your situation right now or whatever, you know what I mean? Bro, appreciate where you're from, you know what I mean? Because this guy left America, come back, and he loves it and appreciates a lot more. And, bro, even, even me watching these videos, and I'm telling you from the UK, UK is not, not a bad place. It's not really a bad place to live at. Like, it's not America or Australia, you know what I mean? But it is, you know, it's good. It is good. I would prefer to be in those countries. But like, yeah, so me talking from a Brit and I'm saying how good America is to the UK, bro, America is just you know, so much better. So I wanna say, when people say something or somewhere is the best, well, maybe it's the best for them. Right. Now, everyone has different values, different things they want out of life. Sure. And, you know, America might not be that place for some people, for sure. Totally okay. get that. Makes sense. But for my time outside of this country, That's uh, basically it allows you to be a spectator. It allows you to see it from the stands, looking in at the game. You get a different perspective of, of the activity, let's say. Okay. And you can decide you know, if you like to play on the field or not. Okay, cheesy example. But the point is, it's a different perspective. It's like if you've never worn dress shoes and only ro worn running shoes in your life, uh, then you don't know what dress feel, shoes feel like. You don't know what different shoes feel like. So that's what it's like when you're outside of what Yo, you- Yo, do you know what's crazy to me? Like, I actually feel it more and more each video that I watch. I feel more drawn to America to like to move. Like, I, like bro, it's going to be dangerous like next year or whatever. Because if every single day I watch these videos, I feel more, more, more wanting to live in America. Bro, it's going to get to a point where I'm just going to say to my family, you know what? <laughs> We're going to just have to FaceTime. Because <laughs> I'm off. You know. All right, I guys, know, coming bro. up at the end. Beautiful lookout point. Old military uh, bunkers. There's a lot of missiles. Missile silos oh, no, in I these hills. All right, that's it for the things I love about America. But yo, honestly, very, very, very good video. I enjoyed that a lot. And let me know what you guys think too in the comment section. Really cool points there. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. If you guys want to chat to me live, I do stream every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.